Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying the three types of wired transmission media, which is the twisted pair cable, the coaxial cable and the fiber optic cable. Okay, so starting with the twisted pair cable. So the twisted pair cable basically consists of two copper wires twisted over one another. Okay, so this is a diagram representing a twisted pair cable and see as you can see, this is a pair, okay? Every twisted pair cable has two copper wires and each of them is not uh, directly present with each other. They are not running parallelly. Rather, as you can see, they are twisted over one another, okay? So that is why they are a, they are a pair of twisted cables or a twisted pair cable. And each of these wires is internally a copper wire and over each copper wire, there is a plastic covering for insulation because as you know that uh, these copper wires are good conductors. So for damage protection and for, uh, you know, safety of the user, each of the copper wire is covered with a plastic insulation. Now, each uh, pair is combined with more other such pairs. Okay, so if this is one cable, it can contain multiple twisted pair cables. So this one cable is consisting of four twisted pair cables. Okay. So it is not necessary that only one pair will be present in a twisted pair cable. Multiple pairs are combined together in a single cable and all of them together are then covered with a uh, plastic covering okay so it just covers them the outer plastic covering wraps all of them and this outer covering prevents from the, any kind of damage physical damage that can be caused to these wires so because twisted pair cables are physically used for connecting different devices different telephone lines so they are laid on the ground and this can you know uh, when things are put on the ground on any kinds of fields and roads and areas they can be damaged they can have they can be damaged using environmental factors or any other physical damage so to protect them all the wire all the wires all the pairs of wires are combined together and covered with a thick outer covering for damage protection and the most important part is that when you have to use a twisted pair cable for a communication this particular uh, the both the wires the entire pair will be acting as a single communication channel so you cannot have two different signals from two different senders being sent over the two wires that are present in a cable no each of these pairs is a single communication channel now you might think why twisting is required Twisting of the cables basically reduces the effect of noise and it protects the signal of, uh, that is that is going through in other pairs that are present close by. Okay, So generally there is a concept of signal interference when multiple frequencies are traveling uh, si simultaneously over different pairs then these frequencies can overlap and their um, they, 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 the signal can get damaged or altered. So to prevent any kind of interference from other signals from outside world also as well from, as well as the signals that are traveling in other pairs that are present in one cable, that is why we twist the wires. So this helps in uh, protecting the signal that is carrying the data. Okay. Now, the biggest advantage of twisted pair cables is it is uh, the least expensive as compared to fiber optics as well as the coaxial cable that we will be talking about next. And twisted pair cable is generally used in telephone lines. Okay, so in earlier days when or even now in some areas when you actually had physical landline phones and you you used to connect them or physical wires over the roads they are used in those connections they are used in those telephone lines and for providing internet connectivity for homelands okay now a twisted pair cable is of two types if each pair is 
having a shield or has a metal covering to it then it becomes a shielded twisted pair cable or an stp otherwise if the pair is unshielded that means it does not have any protective metal sir metal covering around it then it is called the unshielded twisted pair okay so uh, when the pair the pair of cables is directly covered or surrounded by a plastic covering then it is unshielded but if before the plastic covering there is a metal covering also it is known as shielded twisted pair all right so you need to remember these differences and i have listed down the differences in very short concise points so that you can take a note of them take a screenshot of them and just remember the important points in exam you can form complete sentences using these points but you need to remember what is the uh, point or point of difference between each of them now let's come to the coaxial cable so as you can see the diagram only tells you that coaxial cable in its structure is very different from a twisted pair cable the first and the biggest difference is that coaxial cable consists of one wire okay one copper wire this is a first difference between coaxial and twisted pair cable the innermost core is a single copper wire then there is an insulating material that is covering the copper wire because copper is a conductor again and for damage protection now after this inner insulation there is a copper mesh okay there is another conducting material that is made up of copper and it is a mesh that means it is like a as you say in hindi it is a jal okay so uh, this again protects the signal that is traveling as well as the entire wire itself from the damage and because of this outer conductor also the braided the mesh structure the entire uh, signal capacity or the signal strength and the data transfer capacity also improves okay and the outermost uh, uh, protective covering is made up of plastic and this is the structure of a coaxial cable so you can see major differences here and the in terms of performance you can say that the performance wise also the capacity of the coaxial cable is better than the twisted pair okay so this is another point of difference first was that it has a single copper wire uh, as compared to two copper wires in twisted pair the second difference is that it has better shielding because of the mesh structure also as compared this was difference one as compared to twisted pair and the third difference point if you have to write the difference between twisted pair and coaxial cable is that the bandwidth that is provided the range of frequencies that is provided for uh, for data communication by the coaxial cable is larger for the coaxial cable as compared to the twisted pair cable now if the uh, uh, bandwidth is high that means higher frequencies can also be transmitted so and the higher frequencies that are being carried they are carried over longer and larger distances so when you are uh, you are using these wired medium and you have to serve large distances between the sender and the receiver then coaxial cable will be a better choice as compared to a twisted pair twisted pair cables okay so this was the coaxial cable let's now move on to the fiber optic cable so again you need to know the differences between each of these so fiber optic cable the biggest difference here is that data is transmitted using light signals in the previous two cases in the case of twisted pair as well as coaxial cables electric signals were being used to carry the data but here light signals are used to carry data this is the most important difference and that is why it is called optic optic is anything related to light so we in our human body also our eye is connected to the optic nerve optic means light okay so um, now uh, this is one of the first and the most important point this is a diagram showing the fiber optic cable now this uh, 
the light waves that are used for data transmission basically use the principle of refraction. Now, if you are familiar with physics, you know that refraction is different from reflection. So, uh, for those who are not familiar in uh, from physics, uh, these two are very different phenomena. In reflection, light comes to a surface and it crosses that surface. But in refraction, light does not cross that surface. It just moves inside that surface as it has been shown here also. Okay, so this is an important word and the spelling is very important. Please do not mix the two. Okay, so light signals are used. They are transmitted inside a very thin glass fiber that is why it is called fiber optic cable the light signal travels inside a very thin transparent glass and this glass is then covered with a less dense uh, glass at the outer side so let me just raise this okay so uh, the inner fiber glass is covered with a thick with a thin uh, just give me a minute yeah so the inner inner glass is uh, covered with the another material which is the cladding which we know as cladding this cladding is also made up of made up of glass but this glass is less dense as compared to the glass that is used to transmit or inside the glass with in which the light signal travels okay so just for clarity i'm repeating in what repeating it <laughs> once again the light signal travels inside the mid portion which is a thin fiber glass okay and this is covered from the outer side using a material known as cladding and cladding is also made up of glass but the density of this glass is less as compared to the glass fiber in which the light was traveling okay now this glass uh, the cladding is also covered with an outer layer again for damage protection and this is out this outer layer is made up of pvc or teflon now another important characteristic of fiber optic cable is it is very lightweight as compared to copper wires that made up the twisted pair and the coaxial cables also the bandwidth and the data transfer rate that means the speed is also very high because light is being used and signal travels much longer distances without getting affected by noise so this is the reason why fiber optics is now being used for internet connectivity is also so you must have heard about geo fiber airtel fiber optics and these are offering you faster internet connectivity as i said it has a, a faster Band, larger bandwidth faster data transfer rate and it gets it is very robust it does not get damaged very easily so uh, the uh, the signal inside it is not affected by physical noise also and it is very lightweight so you can carry it and uh, lay the wires over the over in under the ground over inside the oceans also fiber optic cables are being laid out laid out okay but uh, given all the advantages of fiber optics the disadvantage is that it is very expensive as compared to the physical wires that uh, that we talked about that is the coaxial cable and the twisted pair cable so fiber optic is also a wired physical medium but it is expensive and it is unidirectional so uh, when we mean un by unidirectional we mean that if you need a duplex communication you will have to install two wires for each side so by using a single wire data can only travel in one direction but if you want to uh, send data from other direction also then you'll have to install two different wires okay so it becomes even more expensive so this is the uh, wired transmission media, the three types that we talked about. In the next class, we will be studying about different wireless transmission media like Bluetooth, WiMAX, Wi-Fi and so on. So keep studying. If this video helped you even a little, please let us know, like this video and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, mind your exam.